Good morning, Laughlin Elks. Today is Friday, December 9th. And we're live at the Gingerbread Shop. Did you know Santa goes all around the world in one night? And his first stop is Japan. Hey, that happens to be where Ben is this week. There are so many amazing things at the Gingerbread Shop. I just can't decide whether I should get this or this. I love the Gingerbread Shop. That's not the only fascinating thing going on around campus. These PBS winners are pretty amazing too. Hey look, it's the Elf on the Shelf Rub. He travels to the North Pole and back every night. The first graders did some traveling too. Let's see where they went. We elves have gone 400 years without a single injury in Santa's workshop. Well, except for that time when Sprinkles did pretend to sprain her ankle. Santa was so embarrassed because he called 911. Oh yeah, I remember that. Now we know when to call 911. Do you? Well, that's our show, Owls. Get in the holiday spirit and visit our gingerbread shop. Remember, it's open every day next week. Happy, Happy holidays. holidays! Good morning, Lofman Oaks. Today is Friday, October 28th. As you can see, it is a fabulous Friday. I'm getting ready for the PBS event, The Masquerade Ball. Arr! Speaking of PBS, let's find out who our monthly PBS winners are. Jensen, did you know that Halloween was first celebrated 2,000 years ago in Europe? I had no idea. They held a festival called Samhain on the last day of summer, October 31st. I've sailed all across the world, but I've never been to Europe. Speaking of, that's where Vegas is today. Hey Jensen, did you know that owls are believed to be witches in Europe? Well, I know an owl's our school mascot. Well, that is true. And owls are native to Florida. Speaking of native animals, Diana went to a nature preserve recently. Here she is to tell us more. Have you been earning your dojo points? Because last event, we had a magic show. Well, here's Faith to tell us more. I am so excited for trick-or-treating this year. Did you know that over 40 million children went trick-or-treating last year? I prefer tricks over the treats. Yarr! Well, pirates can be dangerous. Here's Ben to tell you how to stay safe on Halloween. No matter how you celebrate the holiday, make sure you stay safe. Thanks for watching. Have a fabulous day. Good morning, Owls. Today is Friday, November 18th. You know what that means. Next week is Thanksgiving. We got the whole week off of school, yes! Please stand for the pledge. I'm so thankful that we have no school next week. Five whole days off. What are you thankful for? Thanksgiving is a time to be thankful. It's also a time to have fun with your family. My family enjoys telling jokes over the dinner table. Don't know any good jokes? Here's some you can use. The first Thanksgiving dinner was between the Pilgrims and the Native Americans. It was a huge celebration. Did you know I lasted for three whole days? It was an enormous feast. Wow, that is an interesting fact. Here are some more. The Pilgrims went on a long journey across the Atlantic Ocean to get to America on a ship called the Mayflower. Ben went on a journey too, all the way to We 3 Expo. <laughs> the voyage on the Mayflower took 66 days. Whenever I go on a long journey, I bring a great book. Here are the best readers this week. Well, that's our show, Owls. All this food talk is making me hungry. I'm gonna eat some turkey while you guys watch the video montage. <laughs> Good morning, Owls. Today is Friday, January 27th. <laughs> I call it a freezing Friday. It can get cold in January. Please stand for the pledge. Hey, Janaja. Have you seen all the kids around campus with the red PBS shirts on? Yeah, I have. I think they're so cool. I hope I win one. Well, you have a good chance. Here's January's monthly winners. Mrs. Gamache's class made a great video for us. If you need help with regrouping, then this video's for you. <laughs> you know what I like to do on a cold day? I like to stay inside and read a good book. I agree. Let's see who our AR winners are. I know something that'll warm you up. What's the something? A good laugh from the joke of the week. We have a brand new segment this week. It's the Math Owl winners. If you see your name, then you answer correctly and you're a star. Whee! 
That's our show, Owls. Now, to really get your blood pumping with, with the, the video, video montage. Good morning, Owls. Today is Friday, February 10th. Do you feel it? Feel what? Love. It's in the air. Oh, yeah. It's almost Valentine's Day. Let's start off today by showing some love to the winning AR classes. I got my teacher an awesome Valentine's Day gift. You better have gotten her something nice. Did you know that teachers every year get the most Valentine's treats? Speaking of treats, let's find out what you can do to help a pet. I just learned that Valentine's Day started in Italy. And now the love is spread all over the world. Well, Ronald is on the other side of the world, and I just love learning about new places. Me too. Wow, more than 36 million heart-shaped boxes of chocolates are sold each year. I don't think I can eat that much candy. Well, the Gators from the Gator Show can. Yet said if you eat too much candy, you're gonna get sick. You might be right, but it's so delicious. One thing you can't have too much of is a good laugh. Well, that's our show, Owls. Remember, Valentine's Day is about kindness and love. Remember, when you go home, share the love with your friends and family. I'll share the love, all right, but not my candy. <laughs>